Welcome to installing <coughs> JEdit on the Macintosh. So installing JEdit on the Macintosh is pretty easy. We're just going to first go to um, www.jedit.org and go to the download section. And we're going to not use the latest version. We're going to use the 4.3 version. Which is, the uh, which is the stable version and go with the Mac OS package so it's downloading I can get rid of my window while it's downloading this will automatically download and uh, install basically the reason I like JEdit is because it uh, it's a programmers editor it's not a text editor or a uh, word processor so it's not trying to make our life fun in terms of writing documents. It's trying to show us what's really and truly inside of files. And when we're writing HTML or Python or CSS, we want to know what's inside of files. We don't want it to look pretty. We want to know what's there because we are the makers of the file, not the consumers of the file. And so I like JEdit because it works the same on a PC and on a Macintosh. There are plenty of much better, uh, more easy to use editors, but none that works so well between PC and Macintosh. And so since I'm teaching a class on PC and Macintosh, both PC and Macintosh, and committing to making both work, that's where JEdit really works well for me. So what I've got here is it downloaded this disk image and it mounted this sort of virtual drive called JEdit. And all I have to do is download this to my applications directory Oop, there we go and um, but I'm not the administrator so I have to authenticate And now it's copied those into my applications. Oops. So it's copied JEdit into my applications. Um, I'm going to eject this little drive. And so if I go into my Macintosh hard drive and I go to applications, and if I scroll down a bit, oh wait, it's kind of in a funky spot. I don't quite understand why it looks so bad, but it'll clean up in a bit. I find the JEdit 4.2 folder, and then I click on JEdit to start it up. Now it's telling me why, you know, am I really sure that I want to do this? So I'll say yes. I can close that. First time it comes up, it always talks about help, but uh, we'll get that taken care of. So here's JEdit. Um, and the one thing that most program editors allow you to do is uh, change the user interface so that you know figure for your own productivity what is the best way to use um, the system and so I am going to uh, add the file system browser by saying view file system browser and this is a nice way that you can cruise through the directories and uh, I'm gonna tell this that I want to dock it at the left so now it is in my window, and every time I edit J, start JEdit, I can uh, it'll come up this way because it stores my preferences. Now there's a bunch of areas that you can move and 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 resize things and and a lot of flexibility. I'm going to do one more thing, uh, mostly because this is a podcast. I am going to take a look at and fix the font size to make the the editing area font really large. I'll make it 16 font instead of 12 font. You don't really need to do that, um, but I'll just do that <coughs> uh, for your benefit on a podcast. So I'm going to, oh, let me show you one more thing. I'd like to keep JEdit in my dock. So you press and hold on the JEdit icon in the dock, and then you say keep in dock, and away you go. So now I'm going to kill JEdit. Now, Quit JEdit. And you'll notice that even though it lost the little, uh, it's not running anymore, but it still stayed in my dock, and I can start it right back up. And so you'll notice that now instead of showing me help, it's showing me tips. And these tips could be quite useful, and you might want to see them. 
Uh, I'm going to say, uh, let's see, there's lots of cool tips. Tip, 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 tip. I'm sure they'll be useful to you. But I'm going to shut them off. And why did the file system browser start hidden? I don't know. But there's the file system browser, so it still has uh, my preferences, and my my text is a uh, tall 16-point uh, font, and away I go. And so that's kind of installing and configuring JEdit. So now what I'd like to do is I would like to show you just a few things uh, in JEdit. Uh, the the first thing to do is uh, I'm going to create a file. I'm going to create a file with some HTML in it. Hi there, my name is, and then some bold here, which I indicate Chuck with uh, less than B and less than slash B. Now I'm going to say file, save as. Now the weird thing here is that it starts you in like the worst possible place to save files, and that's in the applications area. So I've got to go to my desktop. You can, you know, put these anywhere in your directory. So um, I go to slash, and then I go to users, and then I go to csev, and I'm going to go to desktop. Oh, wait, I'm not csev on this one. I'm podcast desktop. Okay, and so that's this desktop, because I'm logged in as the user podcast. And I'm going to call this first htm because it's an html file and the htm suffix means that it knows what to do with that and so we've got that and you also see some uh, syntax highlighting that comes from being part of a developer editor where this knows it's html and so now it knows that that's a tag so I can click on this click on it uh, I gotta open that with uh, Safari. I thought that was auto associate with Safari. Went to file, open file, I'll go to my desktop, and open first.htm. And there is my HTML file. And so now I can uh, let me make some changes to this. I'll get rid of that. Goodbye. So um, I'm gonna add the word really here. And then I'm gonna save it using the pencil icon, that's the save. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hit refresh. And so I can edit my HTML and then I can hit refresh in my browser, edit my HTML, hit refresh in my browser. And so that's sort of just using JEdit. So let me show you a few more things. I'll, I'll hide that. So I'm gonna make another file um, and say this is my second file and I want to save this somewhere else and say save as and I am going to instead of putting it on my desktop I'm gonna make a folder using this new folder icon or new directory icon in JEdit and I'm gonna call this uh, SI 502 and I'll go into that folder and I'm gonna call my file um, oops go to my folder and call my file second HTM. So now these appear on my desktop. That's kind of nice. So it's sitting here on my desktop. I got SI502 as a folder. I made it from within JEdit and there's a file called uh, second.htm. Okay, and so, so that shows you how to make a folder. Um, I'm going to show you how to close a file. Oh, let me show you first that this little button here, this allows you to switch between files and have a bunch of files open at the same time. And if I make a change to a file, you'll notice it has this little red icon that tells me that the file's changed. And in my list of files, it tells me which ones are modified and which ones are not modified. Okay, and so I can save the second file by saying save. And then this little international not symbol here is the closing of a file. So I'm gonna close the second file and now the only file I've got is first. And I'll close the first as well. And then I'll show you how to open a file. So there's the file open. Or you can just do it over here. So you go here. You, you, this is a, um, a browser as well. And that's why I put it over here. So I'll go to Users, Podcast, Desktop, SI502, Second.htm. And then if I want to open another file, 
I just go over here and I click on first.htm. So now I've got, quickly, I've got two files open. And this is kind of the reason. So you can be navigating and editing and closing and opening and fiddling and testing and doing whatever all uh, at the same time. You know, and th that's why I keep this thing here and open. You don't have to put it there. You can even minimize it. Um, uh, to, to, to close. Oh, you click it here to minimize it and then bring it back if you want to do that. Um, or you can just get rid of it completely. You can always put it back by, you know, utilities file system browser and then docking it again. So it's up to you. Absolutely up to you. Um, so that's uh, pretty much everything that I wanted to show you with, uh, with uh, JEdit. Um, I think you'll find that it's quite powerful. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's a little clunky in its user interface, but, uh, but I think you'll learn to like it. Uh, has syntax highlighting and everything else.